Assalamualaikum and good morning, madam. As the topic of our presentation today about green building from a different climate region, we have chosen two green buildings from two different climates. This building is owned by the Slangor State Development Corporation PKNS. In view of sustainable feature, the new headquarters, Laman PKNS, was designed as an iconic landmark and a sign of change and also a dynamism to the use of more efficient resources compared to traditional offices. Designed with a futuristic style, this new environmentally friendly PKNS building comes complete with a high-tech infrastructure as well as the an ideal rooftop landscape with a view of Shah Alam skyline. The construction of Laman Pekan S has fully completed at, in the year of 2016. The Next is climate. Um, as for the climate, Malaysia experienced humid weather throughout the year with a daily temperature average of 21 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius and 80% of rainfall per year. The advantages of our climate, we receive 7 to 10 hours radiation of sunlight every day to generate electricity by solar system, while monsoon season promotes rainwater recycling. Thank you very much. A. PKNS headquarters building is an attempt to create a green architecture not solely as an iconic green watch symbol but a truly working energy efficient solution such a water efficiency. First is rainwater harvesting system. This technology collects and stores rainwater for human use. Rainwater harvesting system range from simple rain barrels to more elaborate structures with pumps, tanks, and purification system. The non potable water can be used to irrigate landscaping, flush toilets, wash cars, or launder clothes, and it can even be purified for human consumption. Second is grey water recycling system. They collect the water you have used in your sinks, dishwashers, showers and bath and then clean it up and plumb it straight back into your toilet, washing machine and outside tap. Efficiency. Okay, so in PKNS, um, they use the solar farms to generate energy in the building. So the energy generated from solar panels with absorption chillers to power 10% of the air conditioning load of the building. From the solar panels, they integrating locks and motion sensors into the lighting control system so that they can detect the brightness of the room and it will change automatically. There are also insulated roof, walls and windows in order to reduce thermal transmission. So the heating, ventilation and air conditioning system aka HVAC brings to human comfort. It means that it will bring the comfortable to the occupants in the building. As you are watching now, I'm going to make an introduction about our second green building that we choose based on its outstanding features and capability. The building was named as Bullet Center that owned by Bullet Foundation. The Bullet Center are designed to be the greenest commercial building that focus on urban ecology that located at Seattle, Washington, United States on former Cascada Central building lot. This six-story building are operate since April 2013 and it has 52,000 square feet floor area. The building was certified as living building by the International Living Feature Institute in April 2015. It was put into 250 years lifespan design and produced nearly 30% more energy than exactly energy needed to operate the whole building from massive stack of solar panel on its roof. As a result, it is one of the largest net positive energy building with cost of 30 million US dollar. Now let's talk about climate in Washington so we can carry out the suitability of the building features. So Seattle has a short time of summer which is around 4 month period from June to September where weather is partly cloudy and mostly warm and dry. While 8 months other is cloudy and rainy season with winter season in between November and March. One of it is the whole building environment is automatically adjusted by computer to keep the building comfortable and efficient especially during winter. Also, even though Seattle City has a short period of summer, but the solar panel itself has optimal control of heat loss and maximum solar gain during whole season of summer. 
Because of the rainy season is the longest season in Sierra, the rainwater is benefited by harvesting rainwater for occupant usage. In the world. Below the solar panels, a parapet roof cap captures rainwater and brings it to downspout that carry the water to a 56,000 gallon. It removes large particulates and holds 500 gallons of clean potable water. After go through various processes, only a small amount of chlorine is added to protect public health. Lastly is the bullet center grey water system. The project reconnects the hydrolo hydrologic cycle by infiltrating clean water back into the ground. Water from sinks and showers is stored in a grey water tank and cleaned in a constructed wetland, which can filter 500 gallons per day. Clean grey water is infiltrated back into the soil to recharge the local aquifer. Energy efficiency. First, its solar roof panel can generate more power in summer, less in winter. Second, its hydronic system. Heating and cooling is managed by BEX hydronic compost of 26 close loop geometric well strain 400 feet below the building. Third is irresistible staircase. Hiding elevator to save energy also promote healthier occupant by using staircase.